you now, if I'm correct, you did this trip by yourself? Yep. Over 12 days. Wow. That's awesome. Now, how was that? I'm very, I'm, I'm intrigued. Uh, I think there's a lot of people that aspire to go out on trips and do trips by themselves and then they just never do it. So what do you, first off, what are your thoughts on that? How was it? And then what would you say to those people? Yeah, I, I was getting a lot of comments on that video of people saying like, oh, I could not stand being by myself this long. I can't, I, I need to do this with friends, da, da, da. But like, it really just depends on like you and your personality. I mean, personally, like I'm a pretty major introvert. So like, I love spending time by myself. Um, so like, I find it very meditative to spend that long by myself and just being outside because it just gets me thinking. And that's where I get like a lot of good ideas and just come up with a bunch of good things. And it just kind of, it's like a good reset for me mm -hmm. um, because kind of what I do and like filming it involves being around people all the time. So it's nice to like go somewhere and just be my by myself in the mountains or wherever. So it just depends. Some people have a harder time doing it than others. What do you think while you're on your hikes? What do you think about while you're hiking? Uh, I'm all over the place. I mean, sometimes it's, ideas for videos sometimes it's like the future sometimes it's like just planning out things or strategizing that it's just all over the place my brain is very i don't even know how to describe it but it's always thinking it's always thinking you're right you're right but it, yeah it's, just, it's crazy while you're out there though the thoughts around the mountains i think they mm -hmm. like you're saying it's it's very much a meditative process and you kind of get into that train of thought about 